South Morrow Tram and Rail Group workshops. Our last workshop has been taken up pretty well with uh, some of the tools you need for locomotive servicing and some of you asked for a wee bit more info for a wee bit more advanced uh, tools you can get. So we're going to have a wee look at some of them. Also some of the tools that I've managed to pick up uh, as I've said before, from Aldi's and Lidl's, and you can pick these up for under ten pounds. So if we look at that too. So once I've got the camera set up, I'll be back. Okay, folks. Here we are. Um, I got this this wee set of drills. Had them for a few years now. Uh, ten ninety nine. Very good for. Um, drilling wee holes like handrail holes for the handrail knobs and they do a nice wee job I got these at Motor Rail well worth an investment you will use them guaranteed and very good value for the price ok this here um, I got this in Aldi's and what it is, I can open it, you get this, I can get it out, it's a, take that off there, it's a miniature, a miniature uh, handsaw, uh, one, two, three, four, six blades in it, you know, uh, and you get the handle with the vice thing to fit in, you get coarse blades for wood and metal, and I think it was, I think it was about nine pounds, which I thought was pretty good value uh, for it. I've used it quite a few times. I also got another one that they had, and, uh, Again, you got this um, holder, this handle, and what it had in it, it had uh, two two different size collets and another set of drills uh, in a wee vault. I just can't lay my hands on it at the moment. I don't know what I've done with it. That has been an invaluable thing to me. Um, the drills are not high speed, obviously. Um, they're very good just for a, you know, for similar to a pin vise, you know, you just stick it in the handle, a nice, uh, same as this, knurled, and you a nice uh, thing to drill holes, uh, even in baseboards for uh, we, we, we screwing your, uh, screwing things into the board, if you know what I mean. And one of the things that I haven't shown you, because I don't, I don't actually have one of these, which I, I, I intend to get a hold of, is a pin pusher. Now, a pin pusher. I know some folk don't like um, putting pins into your into your layout, but I think they're they're really excellent value. Um, when you put the pin into the hole in the in, in the bottom of the pin pusher, you put it over where you want the hole, and you just give it a dunt, and it pushes the pin right in. Uh, you can get various different uh, ones, difference in price, obviously, but that would be a great thing if you're. I, I don't like screwing screwing track down, and I certainly don't um, glue track down. I just don't go there. Uh, I like the the Hornby track pins are far too big. They can be seen a mile off. I use the the Pico ones, and I don't like to use a heavy hammer with them. 
Uh, I've got, you've heard people talking about a toffee hammer. Well, I've actually got a toffee hammer that I got in a box of toffee. And uh, what I did was I, I ground the face of it flat, and it's great. It's great for putting pins in if, if you've not got a pin pusher. Because it's so light, it just taps the pin. You've got it on the pliers, you tap it in, and it, it goes in without bending because it, it's so light. It's only when you start to have a, a heavy handed uh, hammer that it bends. So there we are, that's that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned. Uh, I did the wire cutters the last time. Um, a short steel rule, good for drawing lines for things and things like that. Uh, I've also got two foot ones as well, which again are very good uh, for drawing lines, especially if you're doing your buildings. This, these, t uh, some of these uh, tools are not really for local maintenance but for other purposes. But this one here I've got, uh, this is, this is for the XO3, XO4 motor. Um, the, the bit on the XO3, XO4 motor um, that holds the brushes in, you know the wee bit that's got the two holes for the brushes, that can break it's very fragile after a number of years and you can get replacements and this here is a replacement to put the new one in I've got the rivets for it I don't know if you can see that I've got the rivets there and I've also got the allen key and what you do is you put that inside where the and you, you you you've got the rivet down through the thing and then you just tighten it and it puts the rivet in for you so they, they, that, 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 that was a very good investment you've just got to watch this bit here because it, it's rather weak Thank you. see this that, that bit there is very weak and if you over tighten it it's got a habit of well it's prone to bend if you know what I mean so that's that um, I've also got another very good tool. Here we have a worm puller. Uh, if you've got a, a brass worm on your, uh, I don't know if this actually fits the XO3 motor actually, but uh, no, it's you just pull it right out. just put the worm in and then you start to tighten it hopefully and you get two different you get two different sizes of uh, screw in part uh, a finer one and a, a coarser one depending on how the spindle of the motor is very very good investment I've never used it yet I've never had to take a motor I've got a motor that needs the worm taken off so I'll maybe have a go at that uh, sometime in the future. Um, in the last workshop I, I told you I got a vice um, and one of the things that I picked up with along with the vice was, I'll let you see in a minute once I get this, um, was this thing here, it's a mini anvil, very good for, um, very good for just for, you know you can screw it to the bench, it's got the four holes to be screwed to the bench, very good for flattening things down, you know, maybe a bit of metal has got a kink in it, you can just tap it to get it dead flat, it's also got the nose for the anvil as well, um, this is from a uh, Rolson, very, very good uh, tools they make. So there we've got that too. I put that back in the box so I know what it, what it is. And these are around about, I think they're still around about £10. I don't know that one was eight ninety nine, and I just got that at Perth the other week there. Um, 
here we have one of the things I should have put in there the other one was a set of needle files um, I got a, I got a set of needle files from a, one of the local hardware stores I'm being quite honest about it they're rubbish <laughs> um, the actual filing bit wears away before it actually does what it's supposed to do and make the, the bit you're filing smooth so I got these from Draper now Draper is a room I've never had a faulty Draper thing yet I did have a rechargeable solder and iron and the, the, the element went and uh, they stopped selling it by the time that happened so. but I've never uh, manual tools I've never faulted them um, so these I can recommend and they were 10 99 for a set of six very very good value I would say I have used these a lot uh, I got these at Model Rail uh, just this year uh, Model Rail Scotland that is and uh, very good value uh, I'll be taking these to uh, 2023 show because uh, we'll be doing the modelling bench and that will come in handy um, another thing to, good thing to have is some of these sticks with different grades of sandpaper on them now you can pick these up uh, in amongst the ladies toiletries they use them for their nails um, but we can use them for the motor railway very cheap you know you can actually make them with a nice lobby stick and just put different grades of sandpaper on them glue them on and get it away you go money saving every time and finally uh, another thing that I got in I think it was all these was this box of heat shrink sleeving now this is a godsend this because you've got all different um, you've got all different thicknesses you know that's that's really th uh, wide I don't think you would use that maybe DCC I don't know but they go right down to that very very narrow um, very good for insulating cables inside a locomotive so it doesn't short brilliant for that uh, and I, I think they were about 999 and I've used quite a bit of this so certainly an asset so if you see these in Aldi's or Lidl's I think the two of them do them turn by turn snap it up great box great stuff um, for insulating wires and electrics absolutely brilliant so there we are folks once again just a wee bit expansion on what you can get fairly cheaply for, for your toolkit as I said you don't have to buy them all at once I said that in the last one just buy what you can what you can afford and uh, things go okay build them up over a year coming up with Christmas Christmas presents get me this get me that uh, monorail shows go to the, the, the stalls with the, with the tools on them have a look see what you fancy see what you want um, there's always things that you can pick up to add to a, a toolkit um, and there's always new things coming out as well so keep your eyes out for that too so with those few remarks I will say keep on modelling keep on shunting and may God bless you Room sorted, see it, see it, sorted.